and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be an unplanned follow-up of my previous video because you guys seem to like that one a lot. The last video, if you haven't seen it yet, are no sew crochet patterns that are perfect for markets. You can click this link right here to go watch that one. Those ones primarily were like tried and true patterns that I've used before that I really like. However, there was a person who commented saying that she's like made all of those before. And this, I thought I had been thinking outside the box, at least on some of them. So this list, hopefully, is going to be some lesser known no sew patterns. Because I think within our little community here, we all have our like, you know, top group that gets passed around that we all like. So I try to step outside of that and find more no sew patterns. <laughs> now the first 15 patterns on this list are completely free patterns, keeping with the style of the last video. And then the next 10 on this list are paid patterns, but they had good reviews and look like a lot of fun to make. All of these patterns are specifically on my to make list, which admittedly is a very long list, but I thought all these patterns were really cool, so I wanted to share them with you. And at the end of the video, I will be announcing something, so make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end. Uh, let me know down below if some of these patterns are new to you and which one you are going to be trying out next. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into the list, I wanna make a recommendation for my own free no sew pattern. You can watch the video tutorial right here. It's this cute little mushroom. I really like this guy and he works up in less than a half hour and you only need three different yarn colors. He's very beginner friendly. Now, as for my list, the first pattern on it is this three in one bear pig frog. This is a really cute pattern. I think these are the perfect size for keychains. So when I make this pattern I will be doing little bear frog pig keychains. The next pattern on this list is this carrot. Now I don't specifically know if this is 100% no sew, however it can be made no sew because you can just slip stitch on with your green color to do the greenery on the carrot. So even if it tells you in the pattern to sew on the greenery, you don't have to do that. There's definitely a way around that very simply by just slip stitching on and then doing your little like root part. The next pattern on this list is this very simple egg pattern. There are some eggs that have like an irregularly shaped like egg white and those are still pretty basic but can be a little more advanced if you're not comfortable doing double and treble crochets. So this one is worked in the round and very simple and it's a no sew pattern. These would work up very quickly and you only need two colors, obviously. These tend to go over very well at markets. The next pattern on this list are these little chicken nugs. I think they're very cute and I've seen people stage them with actual chicken nugget boxes. Um, so this is definitely on my to make list along with another one, which we'll get to later. The next pattern on this list is this little rainbow keychain. I think it's very cute. And while it would be a pain to have to pull out like seven colors too, but it, I think it would sell well and it's very cute. And you can do like a variation of this and do like an ombre where the colors get progressively lighter to darker, which I think would be cute for anybody who's into more monochrome items. The next pattern on this list isn't technically no sew, but could be made no sew. This pattern calls for you to sew the two sides of the star together. However, you could easily slip stitch around and fasten it together that way and stuff as you go and it would come out cute. This reminded me of, I don't remember if it's in a game in particular, but it reminds me of like old school video games where you have to, maybe it's Mario I'm thinking of, collect stars, you collect stars Mario. That's just what this one reminded me of. The next pattern on this list is this little mini penguin. I make a big penguin that is quite similar in look to this one that was in the last no sew pattern video. This one I think is a good little companion. You can put this guy on a, thank you Judah. You can put this guy on a keychain and sell him that way and it looks like it would work up very quick. Another pattern that I think would be very cute are these little gummy worms. You can do like a little bin with gummy worms and gummy bears or put them in a claw machine if you're one of the people who have like a claw machine for your booth. I don't because I haven't personally found a claw machine that has good enough reviews. They're all like four stars and I don't buy anything that's like less than like 4.5 stars just because I like sure bits because I would hate to buy something and then it breaks. But I've not heard of anybody having any issue with their claw machines. But 
you know, that's just me. I've thought about it, though. If I find one that's got good reviews, I would probably do it. But I think if you had these in a claw machine with gummy bears or just in a bin, it would be cute. The next pattern on this list is this little beaker. As soon as I seen this pattern, I don't have anything like sciency, but I thought it was like a really genius pattern and it's super adorable. And I could see like a little like nerdy child with his little crochet like science set on his desk or like on his dresser in his room. Like it would be cute like little boy decor. The next pattern on this list are these little blueberries and you can obviously style the face any way you want or just keep it like a faceless blueberry. Again, very cute. And because it's basically a sphere, it would work up very quickly, making it a potentially profitable market make. The next pattern on this list are these dinosaur chicken nuggets. These, again, would be very cute, styled in a chicken nugget box, and I think that would be a lot of, a lot of fun, as long as you can, like, tell when you make it that it's, like, a dino nugget. Sometimes I see people with dino nuggets and you could tell like, oh yeah, that's supposed to be a dino chicken nugget. And then sometimes it just kind of looks like a blob. <laughs> so as long as like this pattern worked out, I've not made this particular pattern. I've seen paid versions that are cute, but this would be a nice free one if it like works up. The next pattern is this little bunny. A lot of the bunnies I see are standing up versions. So I like this, how this was like a more traditionally shaped like actual rabbit and I think the possibilities for a color on this guy are endless which is something I really like in a pattern and he's just very like huggable. The next pattern I think would be great with the egg pattern. It's bacon, this bacon. Um, I don't know why it never looked crossed my mind to do bacon but if you had a frying pan with bacon and eggs in it I think that would look really cool and definitely you be staged really nicely on a booth. The next pattern is this boba tea. I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, the pattern called for you to sew on this straw. However, again, this is another one that you could like slip stitch on and it would work up perfectly fine. So even though the pattern itself might not 100% be no sew, it could easily be modified to be no sew. And I just think this little boba tea is like adorable. The next pattern is these little flowers. They're described as applique flowers, so you could sew them onto something. Or there was also pictures of it used as a keychain. So either way, I think this would be really cute if you're somebody who makes bags or like wearables, or if you're somebody like me who does Ami Grammy, making this into a keychain, I think would be awesome. Super cute. And that was it for the free patterns. Now the next set is paid patterns, and yes, they do cost money, but in most cases, unless you're getting a pattern pack, you can expect to spend like $5 or less on a pattern. And I know not everybody has an extra five bucks, and like, I feel you, and I believe me with three kids I understand but if you are shopping for the occasional pattern this list you really can't go wrong some of these I have made but some of these I have not but they're definitely on my to make list and you guys let me know down below what you think all from Jade is a personal favorite of mine she has this I think it's a newer turtle I have not seen this before but I haven't gone scrolling through her Etsy in a while but you guys know of the other turtle I mentioned in the last video and it's been used in a collaboration on my channel. This is like a different variation and I really like how this guy looks. Or I guess girl. This this tiny turtle person. Uh, I think it's really cute. The next pattern is also all from Jade. If you guys buy any of your patterns, I feel like she should start paying me a commission. <laughs> uh, I wish. But I just appreciate her work. She does a lot of really cute things and a lot of it's like aquatic themed. And I live in Florida, so I think it sells particularly well here. Like this little clownfish, like how cute. The next pattern is not all from Jade, but this is another really good shop. She's got a lot of no-so patterns are these dinosaur stackables. They're really cute, and obviously you can make the whole set, or you could just focus on like one or two to add to your booth. And they would look cute like set up or like in a little bin. The next pattern on this list is this mermaid, and this is particularly good if you're looking for like a larger, more like focal piece to draw people into your booth. A lot of no-sew patterns tend to be on the smaller side or like keychain size, but this is like a nice, like good size pattern that you can use to make a mermaid. If you do custom orders um, in your shop or through like selling at markets, offer to kind of like match the mermaid to like a child. So, you know, if it's like a little redhead child, you can make like a little redhead mermaid. Um, well, I guess if that would probably still look like Ariel, but still, 
I think that'd be like a fun idea. I thought about doing customizable dolls, but I really like how dolls look when they're done, but I learned I really don't like making dolls. <laughs> it's just like a lot of pressure. I don't know. Dolls are hard. The next pattern is this all from Jade Pattern. She has this no so chunky frog. It's very cute. It comes out like a pretty beefy size too, but it's like baseball sized. I really like it though. Uh, I've made that pattern before and it's pretty similar in look to Katie B and Creative's frog. So if you want to get her like set of no so patterns, that could also be a good call. I just do a lot of like all from Jade shopping because I really like her. The next pattern on this list I have not seen before. It is this No So Dolphin. This is another like pretty beefy sized pattern and obviously you can make the dolphin in any color. I like this pink that is like in the picture but she had like a blue version and an orange version and they were all very cute looking. The next pattern I've made before and it's sold are these ice creams. These can be pretty customizable too. You could obviously change the color of the cone. I did a brown cone so it was like a chocolate dipped and then of course you can like do the ice cream part and then sew on some sprinkles if you wanted to. It's like the perfect pattern for summer. The next pattern on this list I've also made before. It is this cactus. Another very customizable pattern and it comes out pretty large like a good six or seven inch pattern. I did it with like a terracotta pot style even though like that was different than the picture. I kind of made it like more traditional so it had like a terracotta pot and the cactus was green and I think the flower I did was like light pink but it worked out pretty quick because the even though it's like round after round to make it tall it's a very short like not a large diameter cylinder so it works up quite quick even though it's like a good size. The next pattern on this list I'm sure you guys have seen before but in case you haven't, uh, I mentioned the little weeby alien last time and this time I'm pointing you toward the alien in the UFO because this is a very cute pattern. I own this pattern. I have not had a chance to make it yet. It is definitely on the list though. The next pattern I also own but I haven't got around to making it yet and it's this cute little hippo and it looks to be another one of those like good size patterns. So hopefully it only takes you like a couple hours to make it and then because of the size you could sell it for you know 20 to 40 dollars. I've not actually made it so I don't know like the actual size of this one but it looks like a pretty good size. Probably one of those like closer to 30 dollar pieces. Uh, even though with it being no so I would expect it to only take like a couple of hours. I was trying to close the tab on my computer so ignore me. And that is it for this video. If you guys have made any of these patterns let me know down below and if you haven't let me know which one you are going to make first. So since we've wrapped up, now is time for my announcement. I had mentioned quite a while back that I was working on some Halloween patterns. Uh, I know it's a little bit early, but I'm gonna start like slowly trickling them in so you guys can make your Halloween items before the fall markets. The, the first of the Halloween patterns that's gonna be released is going to be this little witch hat. It's very simple, but there'll be a couple of modifications for it. And I plan to put this on a keychain. So there's like a little witch's hat keychain. And it is very simple. So this will be a free one for you guys. And this tutorial for it will be on this channel. And speaking of tutorials, the B tutorial is coming up in I think two videos. So stay tuned for that. And that is all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.